Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we've got from the 2021 Belgian Math Olympiad. In this problem, we have x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 9 as a prime number. We know that x is a positive integer number and we want to find all possible values that we can have for x. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, we are going to use a few identities. Let's start with the expression that we have here. We have x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 9 and we want to simplify it. To start, we add and subtract 9x squared. If we do so, we are going to end up with x to the power of 4 plus 3x squared plus 9 and then we need to subtract 9x squared at the end. Now we are going to use a plus b to the power of 2 as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b. If we use this identity to simplify the expression, we will end up with x squared plus 3 to the power of 2 minus 3x to the power of 2. Now remember, a squared minus b squared can be written as a plus b times a minus b. If we use this identity, then the expression can be simplified as x squared plus 3x plus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 3. Now let's use a for the whole expression. The expression contains two terms. The first term x squared plus 3x plus 3 and the second term x squared minus 3x plus 3. Remember x is supposed to be greater than 0. So the first term here is greater than the second term. Now we have two facts. First, a can be written as the multiplication of two terms. And the second fact is a is the prime number. So one of these two terms should be one. As a result, the second term should be one. If we use x squared minus three x plus three is equal to one, and then we solve this equation, we will end up with two possible cases for x. x can be 1 or 2. And these two x values are our answers for the problem. Now let's review what we've done. We had an expression and we knew that this expression is a prime number. We tried to simplify it in a way that we can write it as the product of two terms. And then we said that the second term was smaller than the first term and since the number is going to be a prime number, we use one for the smaller term. And then we solve the equation that we had to find the values that we need for x. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel.